from all users, you can see that I have 2,007 users right now. Now remember that number because we'll come back to it. Next, using the Manage View control, I've added a column to my view with last interactive sign-in time so I can see how long it's been since each account has signed in. From there, I can create a filter using that property with an operator here of less than or equal to. And I'll go ahead and choose a time. I'll go back about eight months ago, and then I'll apply the filter. That narrowed my list down to 27 accounts. So now I'll hit Download Users to export a CSV file with their details, which is an Excel file that starts out looking like this. Now to save time, you'll see that I've removed user principal names that I don't want to delete. In my case, that was the meeting room accounts only. And for this to work, I needed to delete all other columns and to add a version number using this format here with the colon. In the second field, I use this exact string, user space name, space user principal name in square brackets. Then under that, I have my chosen UPNs listed that I want to delete. Now moving back to the admin center, once I have that final list of items that I want to delete, I'll use bulk operations and select bulk delete. And then for the sale accounts, all I need to do is upload my CSV file that we just saw. There it is. Now I need to type yes here and then confirm and submit. 